With my method, you won't use the PowerPoint's default hexagon anymore. Hi everyone, Saif here. Today I have a PowerPoint challenge for you. You know, in this semester, I'm teaching technical drawing and I ask a simple question from my students and none of them could solve the problem. So I decided to ask it from you. The question is this, how can you draw a hexagon with rounded corners in PowerPoint? You know, when you draw a hexagon, its corners are so sharp. I want you to find a solution for this problem and design it with round edges. So pause the video and think about it. And if you couldn't solve it, don't worry, I will explain the solution in a minute. And of course, I'm going to use this feature and I will show you how to design this infographic slide in PowerPoint. In the template file, I have prepared dark and light theme for different steps and all of them are fully animated. I will put the download link in the description. Okay, let's see the solution. When you look at this shape, what do you see inside the shape? Three rounded rectangles. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The problem is solved. There are a rounded rectangle and change its height to 1.5 and width to 2.26. Hold the control key down and make two copies of it. Right click on this shape and select format shape. Now we have to rotate this shape 60 degrees and this one minus 60 degrees. Why we are rotating them 60 degrees? Because in hexagon, the angle of each corner is 60 degrees. Anyway, hold the control key down and first select this one, then these two. Align them to the middle and center. Now in the merge shapes section, make them union. It was so easy, wasn't it? Sometimes questions look so hard, but they have easy answers. Who knows, maybe one day you will find an easier solution than mine. Anyway, let's design this infographic slide together. Alright, let's make three copies of it and adjust them like this. First, change each shape's color. These are the color codes that I'm using. Now select all of them and change the color of the outlines to white and make it a little thicker. I think 2.5 is good. Also, add a drop shadow in this direction. Set the blur amount to 25 and distance to 10. Let's decrease the transparency to 50. Now you can type your letters or numbers inside the shapes. Press Ctrl A to select all the shapes, then if you like, change the font style. In this case, I'm using the Russo one font style. Let's add a drop shadow to the letters as well. Set the blur amount to 10 and distance to 8. Now draw a line. Since we want a straight line, hold the shift key down when you are drawing. Set its width to 1.7 inches. Draw a circle and set its diameter to 0.2. Zoom in and adjust it like this. Select both of them and remove the circle's fill color, then change their outline color. Now by pressing Ctrl G, group them and drag them to this position. Hold the Ctrl and Shift keys down and make another copy of it. Now select both of them and send them back. Repeat this for this side. Now click on this little icon to add your titles. Let's draw a rectangle with this size. Change its color and remove its outline. Also add a drop shadow to the center and send it back. Okay, so far so good. Now I want to animate them. Hold the control key down and select all the shapes and text boxes. Go to the animation tab and add fly in animation. Okay, let's modify the direction of each animation. I want this one to enter from this side, or this one from this side. These are the directions that I have chosen for each shape. 
Now click on the animation pane and select all the animations. Set a start with previews for all of them and increase their duration to 2 seconds. Right click on them and select effect options. In this window, drag a smooth end to the end. Also, select these shapes and add fade animation to them. Increase their duration and you are done. Now your PowerPoint is ready. You can download all the templates in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing.